got fish tacos, we got California burritos, and we got taquito burritos. You got taquito burritos? Yes, we do. It's taquitos wrapped up in a tortilla. You put a taquito in a burrito? Yes, we do. Uh, and that's pretty good, huh? It's very good. Okay, I'm, I'm going to have that. What are you going to have, Alex? But what kind of taquito? Chicken, beef, pork? I mean, pork. Beef. Yeah. Chicken, beef, bean, and potatoes that we have. Wow. You got the whole the whole skip spectrum, huh? Yeah. You have beer? No. <laughs> Same thing. He wants a taquito burrito. We got to try this. Huh? Okay. Is and this like a specialty of the house? Is this something? That, uh, it's just the, it's the things that they invent that we have to do for the customers, for the youngsters. They all order. So, so people on the street order this. this huh? the, so so the, now you make started, it. Huh? Yeah. Okay. Say the California never existed before, and we started with one California now. I know, French fries on a burrito. You know, if you're not from California. You don't know about that, huh? <laughs> yeah. Six fifty. I think it finally made it up to Northern California. I know it's made it down all the way down to the border. My name is Fred Caldwell and this is Caldwell's Antiques. Our family has owned this place since 1963 right here on Historic Highway 101, right here in one of the last beach communities in California, Lucadia. Uh, you may see our slogan around town if you come here called, Keep It Funky. And that's what we try to do, especially right here, is keep the big box warehouses out of the place and more of a homey kind of, I don't know, Americana feel as you drive through the highway here. Anyway. Uh, one of the great things about being in this business is you never know what's going to show up next. And like today I got this quilt. This is kind of a Appalachian or a log cabin pattern. Uh, red, white, and blue. Green on the other side. Um, I'm like 80 bucks for that or something. It's probably a good price. Uh, this is a Hummel I got recently. And they go for around $100. And one of my favorite things are to collect are records. I used to restore the old jukeboxes, but uh, now that you can fit 8,000 songs in your pocket, they don't sell as well as they used to. But um, they're still beautiful when they're restored. And I always like collecting the rare records, and some of them are colored records. These are children's records. I have a lot of the translucent records that are you know, purples and greens and reds. And um, they have some value also. And this is, like for example, this is one of the strange machines that shows up. Uh, this is called a trade stimulator. It's probably from the 40s. And um, you put your coin in, and if the dice come up IOU, one pack, you got one pack of cigarettes. But uh, they started cracking down on these things in the 40s because uh, they were illegal gambling. So the way they had a loophole around that, the manufacturer put in this little place here where you got a gumball each time you played. So it, wasn't gambling, sort of. Well, back in the 1950s, my mother and father moved to Los Angeles, Glendale, California, from um, oh, Newcastle, Indiana, Anderson, Indiana, around in there. And he went into the moving business. And people, when they'd move furniture, or they'd move their, to a new house, they'd uh, give him furniture. And he ended up opening a used furniture store in Glendale. And then the smog was just get horrendous and getting to him back then. So we had cousins we would visit down in Del Mar, and he loved it down here. It was just in Lucadia. And so that's why we moved here in 1961. And in 1963, they opened this shop, and it kind of became antiques. My mom liked those better. And she passed away in 1981, and I took over then. This is obviously a copy of somebody, I think Louis Boucher was the artist, who loved Grant Wood. Because Grant Wood did houses like this, greatly simplified. And he also did uh, hills, valleys, hillocks, like in this way, in a greatly simplified way. And Grant Wood was an artist, uh, was a WPA artist in the 30s and the 40s, who did, uh, was famous for American Gothic. So buy our cornflakes, you country cornflakes, you country cornflakes, please buy our cornflakes, they're made from corn. Uh. 
this is a King record. Uh, the King label was great. I don't know. Every, every King record I've ever had has been really super quality, uh, loud and clear, and, and great music, too. And this one was Rocket 69 by Todd Rhodes Orchestra. And never heard of them, but uh, I really like it. And um, I think early people like uh, like Elvis Presley may have gotten his start on King Records or or um, in Nashville or someplace. I don't know where it was, but it's one of my favorite labels. And it's probably the records more valuable than most 78s. It's probably around a fifteen twenty dollar price tag on that one. Whereas most uh, 78s from the 40s and 30s aren't worth that much. I mean, a quarter, 50 cents. Beach Boys started in Hawaii, but actually they started in Malibu, California, Santa Monica, California, all up and down the coast. And this is in Hawaii with the Beach Boys. This particular Beach Boys is Rabbit, and the back is Duke. It's the Hawaiian Yacht Club Beach Boys. And I'm Mary Louise. I'm one of the surfer girls.